We've probably been making wine in our family for 45 years. 2009, we are making wine. The process to make wine is actually quite simple, so anybody can really do it. My father came here from Italy in 1955, and with him, he brought the tradition of winemaking. I've been making wine since I was about five years old, helping in the process in some form or another. I've been part of the winemaking process since I was about three years old. My father used to take us out in the garage and show us the process. My earliest recollection of making wine was around five years old when my father used to do it in the backyard at Orange Street. Then we moved when I was about seven or eight years old to Whitney Avenue and we did it in the basement. Shortly after we moved into Whitney Avenue and we were really basically making wine in the entire basement, he portioned off a piece of it and made a cantina where he had um, all the barrels set up and he had all the crusher and the, uh, the vats and everything else set up for the process of making wine. The press was actually something my father thought of and uh, actually created and designed. Uh, he actually put a mold down and uh, it was made out of a concrete slab and he actually had a valley uh, uh, formed into it. And uh, uh, you know, from that point on, we just kind of uh, superficially uh, uh, sanitized it a little bit with tile and, uh, and so forth and so on. So that's uh, pretty much how we, uh, we designed that. And it was a group effort. Shortly after my father passed away, we decided to tile the press. And we actually put the initials of everyone that's been instrumental in helping us make wine over the years. The RS is my father, Raymond Sirocco. The uh, PD is my grandfather, my mother's father, um, Pasquale de Paula, and the BD is my cousin Biagio Dalella, otherwise known as Gino. Um, he was always there, like another son to my father, uh, he was my cousin, and he helped us make uh, the wine every single year, and my father um, and my grandfather were very instrumental in making sure that we understood what the process was and how to do it and how to make the wine. My brother and I like to do things. We like, we appreciate when people like drinking our uh, our homemade wine. So uh, you know, it, it's it's something that that he and I, you know, we get fascinated when when people's expressions are are exciting when they're drinking our wine. So usually when we go visit people or go to a party, we bring a bottle of wine. A lot of times when you buy a bottle of wine people have had that particular bottle or they have and they said oh is it similar to another particular bottle of wine etc. When you bring homemade wine though the conversation is totally different. You start talking about the wine making process, you start talking about who participates and most of the time you always get one, two, three or four people that say can I help you make wine next year. So we're going to ask the people exactly what they're doing here. Do it, do it. <laughs> Mike here. This is Mike Valente, everyone. Say hi. Hi. Mike, what are you actually doing? What is your process? What is your piece of this whole entire process I here? What are you actually doing? I have to so he can put them in the press. All right. And Christian, and what, is, what are you doing in the process here? Nothing. Nothing. Actually, what are you doing? I am putting the grapes in the crusher. Right. Now, see, Christians are token Italian. So we really need someone from Italy, born in Italy, to actually help us to make it so, you know, it's authentic. And Ray, what are, what are you actually doing here? I am supervising the whole operation and taking leaves and anything that doesn't belong in here out. What's your brother doing? Oh, nothing. A lot of people that come over and share in the winemaking process are usually neighbors. And when growing up, when we were young, the neighbor next door to my father would only come once a year to the house when we were making wine. Everyone loved sharing in the tradition. It showed what we brought to uh, from from Italy in the tradition of winemaking, and they also participated in the same tradition. And everyone seemed to enjoy it. We loved having people over, helping us make wine. Winemaking helps enhance our family culture by the closeness and, and keeping the the family together. And uh, you know, it's a heritage we've been we've been uh, dealt with since we were kids, and we like to pass it on through generation and generation. So now we actually have our kids making wine and helping us make wine. My favorite memories are, are actually making wine with my dad and my brother. But uh, again, 
my brother and I, we, we like to, uh, to fool ourselves, but uh, we actually enjoy getting into little arguments because it's fun while we make wine, but it's actually a tradition and, and we enjoy doing it. It becomes a comedy act. No, because if we're going to do it every time... Yeah. No, 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 I wouldn't put it there. I, wouldn't, I don't ruin my thing. Why are you going to ruin my thing? No, to leave it on the wall. No, no, yeah, no. Yeah, I know, but no, not on inside. No. We will make the wine and uh, we drink. It was so sweet. And then we run, 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 and then we were drunk. I plan on keeping the culture alive by teaching my daughter, my nephews, my nieces how to make wine and keep that, gener that, that generational flow going. Uh, and it, it makes us excited by doing that. It keeps, it keeps us close and bonded. Winemaking helps us keep our family tradition alive. It's a lot of fun doing it. You, it's the way to bring the past to the present and connect the two. So you, you think about all the people that helped you in the past and all the people that are sharing with you in that moment right there. My favorite part of the process is actually eating my mother's food upstairs. So we make wine, we work all day, and we go upstairs and enjoy it as a festival. Uh, it, it, it just, again, bonds us. Tutti a tavola a mangiare. Everything you're eating is homemade. Everything you're drinking is homemade. When you're making it together and eating it together, it makes it that much sweeter. Traditions are important. They keep people together as a family. And people should carry on traditions in their own families. Cheers, salud, salud. Should we do great? We have fun to make wine. Un branzo senza vino e come un giorno senza sole.